They're still cleaning up here at Elite Automotive and Transmission. Just take a look inside. Seven cars, torn apart. Who knows how much more damage there could have been if not for a vigilant neighbor. Luckily, thank God, you know, he was around. He called us. He is Daniel Rodriguez, who happened to spot a man poking around one of the cars. Kind of looks suspicious, so I went outside and... Uh... I yelled at him, hey! Rodriguez says that man, 20-year-old Alfred Estrada Jr., got spooked and tried to hop the fence. He tries to jump, but he falls back. Yeah, he was a heavy set guy trying to scale the fence, so of course he was going to go over a little bit slowly. With Estrada now hobbled and bleeding, Rodriguez had enough time to call the shop's owner and chase after Estrada. I was kind of scared, you know, because I, first of all, I had no shirt, no shoes, and he was bigger than me, and I didn't know if he had a weapon or not. You can see how the trail of blood drops continues along the outside of the repair shop from where police say a Strada tried to run away. That trail stops right here with these big smudges. That's where neighbors say they caught up to Estrada, pinned him against the fence, and held him on the ground until police could show up and arrest him. He said it wasn't me. He said I, that wasn't me inside the gate, and he kept saying it wasn't him. We're asking him who sent you because you never know with these people. You know, somebody might send them or something. Estrada was arrested and charged with burglary of a vehicle and criminal mischief. The owners say they're forever grateful for their neighbors' quick thinking. They said thank you and uh, take me out to to eat and probably do some work on my car now. We're out here trying to service the community with this auto shop and all this good stuff, you know, and then for them to come in here and try to take what somebody worked hard for, you know, that's not that's not going to work that way. He's caught and he's where he needs to be now.